um, so December 31st, 2019, and this is podcast episode 36, and this is the Automake One Knits. Welcome! It's been a while. I have a lot to talk about, so I'm going to try to keep it short, but, like, I'll just try to get to the point on everything. I hope you guys had a really good Christmas. Uh, Joe and I did. We went to Connecticut and spent it down there with... My daughter and her husband and the grandbaby Charlie who's two before I forget I should tell you where you can find me um, I am the autumn acorn on Instagram as well as Facebook uh, you can also find me at craft a living on Instagram that's where I have my uh, business e-courses uh, for introverts who are ready to start a creative business so you can check me out there and there's also a Facebook uh, page, Craft a Living. So there, uh, that's out of the way. Also, I can't remember, it's been so long, if I told you about the snowy paths, that the snowy paths pullover um, pattern is ready. I think this is a free pattern. Free pattern is ready to download if you would like it. Um, here is the one that I made. It is, you can have the front... This is technically the front, but it could be the other way around, but it has more of a rib, a rib section in the front. Uh, this one has a boat neck, but the patterns do include directions to, to make a more narrow neck. Uh, uses mohair in some sections, and I think it's a worsted weight to a bulky weight yarn combined in others. So yeah, it was really fun, really fun pattern, and... You can find that in my, uh, on my website, theautumnacorn.com. Just get that out of the way. So, um, let me just start with some finished objects. Um, I did finish the sock head hat in fingering weight yarn, and I gifted that to my daughter in Hawaii, so I don't have... A picture of that yet but I hope she'll send me one and then I'll show you um, I also knit quite a few three additional hats for family members that I don't have pictures of because they're gifted already I also knit for Charlie my granddaughter a no place like home pullover in that yarn was a naturally dyed I used um, I think avocado something else it's it came out really nice and it fit her really well so I'll insert photos here so you can see how cute she looked in it But then I got obsessed with this hat and I will put the name of the hat here because I just, I don't think I brought the pattern with me. Um, started out by knitting, let's see, which one was first? This one was first. It's color work. This is really pretty design. That's the back, actually. That's the front. Um, dare I try it on? Mess up my wet hair. Yeah, it's it's. This is on over a clip and a pony, so it makes it look a little small for me. But I think it's a really cute design. This is a gift, actually, for someone. Uh, Joe and I are going to Colorado in, what, eight days, I think? We're going to be there for a week, and this is for the friend that we're staying with. Uh, then I made it in with the same yarn, which I should show it to you. It is this yarn here. It's a tonal, really, really pretty 
shade brown, golden brown. Uh, this was a Knit Crate yarn. Vitalana. Knit Crate is a monthly subscription yarn club that I belong to. And I'll put the link for that in the show notes if you would like to join. There's also a coupon code for 20% off your first order. So it's a really fun club. Really fun to get the surprise yarn. This was in one of my months and it came with two skeins and it comes out the when you knit it it just comes out in such a beautiful variegated look i really really love it and so you i used a pink uh, again that is um and let's see this one i made a little looser a little looser a little bigger but i think it fits better fits me better and I'm not sure if this one will be for me. I think I'll gift it. I'm pretty sure. Because then I made one in Lamb's Pride. This is worsted weight, all the yarn I've been showing you. Um, in caramel. And I fell in love with that version. So here is my hat in that beautiful yarn. This blue is the same, well, I didn't bring that yarn over, but this is a um, Woolies yarn, so it's just a commercial yarn. And this is the Lamb's Pride. Uh, I think this one fits me the best. I'll show you. And Joe said it looks the best on me, so this one is officially mine. I'm so pleased with it. So when I was finished with that, um, I decided to make one for my granddaughter, or I said, I'm going to try. Um, the pattern was for an adult size, so I just figured I would take off, I think the first time I took off 20 stitches maybe, and it came out really tiny. Um, so I ended up being her doll hat, Charlie's doll hat. So I didn't want to give up. I had some more yarn left and I tried again, and this time I only left off 10 stitches from the cast on, and it still turned out way too small. So here's the adult version. And Charlie is two years old, so I wanted hers to be just a bit smaller, but this is way smaller. So this will end up being for Charlie's baby sister, who's being, uh, who's going to be born in April. So she'll have a matching hat with Nana, but Charlie still does not have a matching Nana hat. So she's waiting patiently. But she's really happy about her sweater, so that's holding her over. So yeah, I've made so far, that's three, four, five, six, six of this wonderful hat. And this is a free pattern, so like I said, I will link it. Um, you can find the information down below in the show notes. I love making hats because they're so quick and I needed, I really needed a quick project. Um, I think that that pattern took me three hours to finish, so really rewarding. Oh, and then I made some, because my hands, I have Raynaud's and my fingers get white and freezing cold, so I made some little wrist warmers, hand warmers. Again, I'm terrible. I don't have the pattern in front of me, but um, if I can find it, I'll link it below. I made these quite a few weeks ago. I've already worn them daily. They're just a simple ribbed with a thumb. Oh, I don't know where I got that, but cover that up. And I used some yarn that I had gotten at a consignment store called Top of the Lamb in sport weight in this beautiful color, heathered gray. I have this in cream as well, but I thought the gray would make more sense. Always handling wood and things outside. So these, these were really fun to make, but I really way more fun to wear. Like this was something I just wanted done. Not necessarily a process knit for me, more of a product. I couldn't wait because they definitely work. And when my wrists, or thumb hurts from arthritis. When I put the wool on, it just seems to really soothe, soothe my hands. So, 
Um, I also knit this stuff all over me, like I'm surrounded by stuff. I also knit the new baby that will be born in April and the garter yoke baby cardi. Don't mind my scribbles. I, I tend to write on my patterns. Bad habit. And this was a free pattern that I got on Ravelry. Um, I will put the uh, designer's name down below and more information on the pattern if you'd like to download it. This might be a better picture for you to see, but it's a basic garter, top of the, the um, cardigan is garter. Pretty basic, simple yoke. And I used this yarn here by Vitalina. Again, this is a knit crate yarn. Uh, here are the details. I have to tell you, I'll show you, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see this, but it's a blown, I think they call this a blown yarn or a tube yarn. So it's really, really stretchy. And it looks like, almost looks like an I-cord, um, but inside there's a lot of air. And when it stretches, it looks just like regular wool. But when you first look at it, when it's not stretched, it looks strange. It looks like chain, like a chain, chain ply. And so I was like, mm, I don't know, am I gonna like this? I, it just wasn't, when I looked at it, I didn't love it, but when I knit with it, it was heavenly. So this is what I made. Here's the back. Pretty basic, really love the color of the yarn. And I was just so happy with the way this feels. It's, it's amazing yarn. Um, I wanted to keep using more and more and more of it. And I was so happy. I, when I got my next knit crate box, it had the same yarn but a different color. So I have it now in green, this, and then a peach color, which I'm going to show you the next finished uh, project. But this came out, I think, in a really good size. I didn't follow the pattern exactly. I, you know, I changed it up a little bit, but most mostly it's the pattern. Uh, and this, I think, will fit a true newborn. So that I was so happy with that, and I think the color is going to work out great for my daughter to to match all of her um, her baby's clothes because I think. You know, you can't go wrong with this color. It's like a creamy taupe gray. Yeah, it would match everything. So I'm really happy about that. Then I decided to make her the same. No, this was not the same. So similar. A similar design, but I changed a lot of it. So this doesn't have a name, unfortunately, this pattern. This is what the the original cardigan look like. I don't think mine looks anything like that, but um, yeah, it just, it, there's no name, there's no author, it's just that's how the pattern came, unfortunately. So some of you had asked me about it and I can't tell you because I don't know. So at this time I used um, that same Vitalana Yarn by Knit Crate this time the color, colorway was Tiger Lily, and it's that same um, blown, I'm going to just call it blown or chain ply, chain plied, let's call it chain plied yarn, and that peachy color. And I also used a mini skein that my dear friend Angela had gifted me in my advent calendar this year by Jinx Yarn called Ginger Red House. So that's the trim on this little Cardi. And here it is. There it is. So this one came out bigger. Um, 
wider than I wanted it to be. The length is fine, but I thought it was a little wide. Uh, the sleeves too, definitely wide sleeves. And I don't know where I went wrong. Um, I think the trim looks cute though. I was pretty happy with how the, the peach color from the trim yarn um, I thought looked really cute and really matched well with the other yarn. So I was happy about that, but I did. I definitely changed the pattern a lot because the original pattern didn't have all this garter at the bottom and I wanted to see how that would look. Mm, would I have done it again? I'm not sure. Maybe not. I think it's okay, but um, it was a little frustrating though how the brown didn't come out at all on the mini, the part of the mini on the bottom, just the white, just the cream. And I just did one but button, the top, I did a little owl button, um, but I did the buttonholes for the first, what, one, two, three buttons. So they would go right up to where the garter starts if I decide to put the rest on. I'm just not sure if that, if I'm going to. I didn't have any other owl buttons, so I'd want to find something that matches, but I think it's okay. I think it's, it's an okay. Okay, cardigan. Um, and then when I finished that, I was like, well, I'm not 100% thrilled with that one, so I'm going to need to start something else that I'm 100% with. Uh, so I asked for some advice on Instagram, and thank you to everyone who gave it to me. It was very helpful. Um, and I'm not sure. I have a new phone, and I don't know where I'm supposed to look. So if you notice I'm looking there, when I should be looking there, vice versa. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out. So this was recommended and it's called the Entrecot, 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 <laughs> I can't say it, Entrecot. Um, I don't know. I can't say that very well, but it's uh, by Lisa Shemery. I'll put the information down below, like I said. I do for all of the patterns, but this is what it looks like. It's a cute little shrug kind of cardi that I think would be perfect for a newborn because easy on and off. So I, I probably though will put sleeves. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Being that it will be an April baby, I don't know. Maybe I don't need. Maybe I don't need sleeves, but I'm gonna use some of my yarn that I my own yarn that I've hand dyed with Brazil wood in this pretty color pink. Um, this is a 100% pure merino, um, three ply sport weight. So this is, this call for fingering weight. Um, so what I thought I'd do is use the three month size and hope to get a six month size by using the sport weight. Just didn't have anything in my stash for fingering that was a nice solid neutral color that would match everything. Again, I'm really trying to be practical. Even though I know that peach, I just wanted to use that up. I know that peach won't match much in um, the baby's wardrobe. So that's it for what I have to show you for finished objects and I do have a work in progress, but I'm not, it's really not at a place to show it yet. So we'll skip that for now. Um, I did attempt last night uh, to finish a fingerless smith that I've been wanting to have finished for quite a while. And it was a fail. So the first time I knit this, I had to rip it all back, all the color work, because it was too tight. So I found that I'm okay with color work if I'm using worsted weight or bulky weight yarn or even uh, maybe DK, but when it comes to fingering weight and color work, I still am I'm doing it too tight, holding it too tight. So this is what I ended up with. Um, from here down is really, really good. It's not tight, it's not bubbling up or, or uh, what's that word, puckering? It's not puckering at all. The fit's wonderful and then as soon as I start these mushrooms, 
It is puckered and so tight. It doesn't feel comfortable at all in my fingers. And I just want to tear my hair out because I want these little mitts so bad. I think I'll show you the pattern. I've shown you this before. Um, let me pull that out. So I have this in my cute little toadstool bag because it's appropriate for the pattern. And I was using my little toadstool. Breakfast keeper, can you see that? adorable um and these are by stone knits yeah charlotte stone magic toad school mitts pay for a pattern i absolutely love it i'm i was going for you know different green all together but i was happy super happy with my colors and just wasn't meant to be anyway i put a post up on in my facebook group and carol Carol, thank you so much. Carol's been supportive from day one. She's a love. Carol, you're a love. Offered to to knit these for me because she, she knows this is like the third time. No, I think I've tried three times, three attempts. So it would have been, I wasn't going to go there. There was no way I was going to do a fourth attempt. So Carol, thank you. I'm going to be sending you um, the yarn. I'm not sure if I'll be sending you the original green this brighter green that i had hand dyed a long time ago or i found this which seems closer to uh the original pattern so it'll probably be this and then red some red and the cream and the pattern and then i'm sending you well first of all i'm going to send you your own little progress keeper to keep and um and some other goodies for for helping me thank you so much means the world so yeah, stay tuned because I will have I will have a pair of toadstool mitts before I'm before I'm done. Can't wait. Um, Christmas this year was I should call it the handmade Christmas. I received so many handmade gifts. I can't even tell you. I love them all. They're all beautiful and special. I'd rather have a handmade gift than anything anything in the world. Um, and I don't know where to start, so I'm just going to start with my dear friend Amelia, who sent me this package, and she didn't say it was for Christmas, but I'm going to say it was because it was close to Christmas. She sent me this sweet package. I cried when I opened it. I'm not going to cry right now. I'm going to hold it in, but I'm t I was, I was so touched. Um, this project bag. Look at that. Mm. We were looking at this fabric together in Boston and when she got it, I had no idea that I would actually be, be having a beautiful bag. Here's her, her Etsy shop. And I will put all the information down below in the show notes. Um, it's a beautiful, the size is perfect for everything. Pretty much everything. I've been using this nonstop for the last month. Or how long have I had this, Amelia? Three weeks? I don't even know. Time's flying. So that was one of the beautiful gifts. And um, she gifted me this gorgeous fiber for spinning from No Makers. Can't wait. She knows how much I love these colors. Um, this beautiful handmade card, which I will be hanging up. I've already had it hanging, but I had to take it down to show you. Um, she got me some spin oil for my spinning wheel, which she knew I needed. And this beautiful spinner's pouch she knit for me. I'm so in love with it. Look at the little flower she embroidered and the special button she used. Oh my God, I love this. This is, this, I haven't been able to put it on my spinning wheel yet because I wanted to show you, but this is where I will keep my um, orifice tool and my oil and other little gadgets that I need. 
and I'll always think of you, Amelia, when I when I use it. So thank you, friend. Thank you. Beautiful. So those were some of the gifts that um, some of the gifts she had sent me. And then my dear friend Angela, um, I had told you about this earlier, had gifted me an advent calendar this year because she was upset that I didn't have one for myself. Um, she knew that I had sold them and I was, you know, uh, preparing them for other people, but I hadn't had one for myself. I'd never had one. So she sent me one and I'm telling you, I had more fun. This December was like the best December ever because every day was like Christmas day. Every day I got to open a new beautiful mini. Um, look, even her envelope is like <laughs> special. Even her envelope, she sent me the most beautiful card. And um, this sweet little acorn pin. I adore it. I'm going to put it on the bag that I just showed you from Amelia. Um, and then, yeah, every day I got to open up a new mini. And I won't, sh you know, won't show you individually every one, but I'll try to hold up. So the first 12, and oh, there are also wonderful little stitch markers here and there. Um, and at the very end, uh, I was I was able to open up two full skeins of yarn that were from Angela's stash. One was from Once Upon a Corgi. Uh, not too far from me, Dyer. I think she's in Connecticut. And the other was directly from London. She picked it up in London. Here's another. Cute. So cute. So the most generous, thoughtful gift ever. And she also knows how much I love Lindsay from A Wooden Nest. So she included one of her minis. Look at that in the sweet little stitch marker. Me so happy. So happy. So here's here are 12 of them and they're all so pretty. I'm not real good at showing things like this, but you get the idea. And then in this basket were the remaining 12, which came from Row One Yarns. Um, these were cute. I really like these. Uh, they all had really cute names. So Dyed in the Wool is the name of the um, dyer. Beautiful. I don't want them to fall. And then the two big skeins that I received are so pretty also. Once Upon a Corgi and West Yorkshire Spinners. This one came directly from London. And it's a Christmas colorway, which is really fun because I have, I don't think I have any Christmas colorways. So thank you, Angela and Amelia. You both are just such sweet friends and I love you guys. My sister made me an acorn bag. Look at it. Love this. I love this fabric so much. And she gave me some beautiful brown um, alpaca merino silk. That's a nice chunky yarn. I'm thinking of a beautiful hat or some leg warmers maybe with this. I just love that color. I'm a sucker for brown. I think brown matches so many things. I just love it. I know a lot of people don't love browns, but I'm like, especially this chocolate brown. Look how well it matches the cute little bag she made for me. She sewed it. It's such a perfect little sock project bag. Or just to hold yarn in. Thank you, Val. Love it, love it, and love the chocolates too, and the and the maple candy. Oh my gosh, mm, it's halfway gone, and I'm the only one eating it. So, um, my daughter sewed me this awesome moose blanket out of felt. It's huge and cozy, and it's got this fringe. So that was for my daughter Kelly, my middle daughter, and then my youngest daughter. Sarah, my gosh, she sent me from Hawaii the most wonderful package. I'm going to try not to um, cry because I, I was 
literally blown away by this. Um, one of the uh, handmade things was this little paw print of Midas, her dog that has cancer and um, yeah, he may not make it. So I thought that was such a sweet gift. Midas was our dog, our family dog. And, and then she wanted him in Hawaii. So now he's been there for a while. And then this is when I lost it. Um, she embroidered, first she took my business logo and printed it onto Aida cloth and she embroidered my logo by hand and it took her weeks and it came out so beautiful. Every stitch is just perfect. It's flawless. So I said, Sarah, did you use, uh, it's gorgeous, it was this machine made. Like I, I couldn't get over the, the perfection. I mean, it's just, and she sent me all these pictures of her working on it all throughout the weeks leading up to Christmas. What do you say? What do you say to this? What do you say? She's like, my fingers hurt. <laughs> yeah, I was so touched. I absolutely adore it. So this will be hung in a very special place. I'm not sure where yet, um, but I, I will find a very special spot for that. <sighs> I got some a homemade sugar, uh, salt scrub, um, some homemade infused olive oil. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh my gosh, I also forgot to tell you, show you what um, Amelia had given me a nitty knotty that it's a travel version because you can take it apart and bring it with you. So that's been super handy for winding. Um, yeah, it's a travel just take it apart and um there you go that was a really really sweet sweet gift too i feel like i'm trying to get everything in so quickly uh, let's get on to the giveaway so it was either november or december i had won a giveaway on instagram from angora moose like this giveaway was meant for me, I think. It was, it's two skeins of hand dyed yarn. And let me try to get to the bottom. This little package for some felted acorns. Here's the beautiful yarn. Mm. It's coming out a lot more yellow. It, it is, it's quite a, a taupey, I would say a taupey brown, but not as golden as it's showing. So that's what I won, and these sweet little acorns. And then Kayla sent me something for you as well, which really surprised me. I was so happy. Um... She sent you, and I'm going to need my glasses for this so I can tell you exactly what you can win. First of all, this is a hand-drawn label. Uh, Kayla's an artist. The Angora Moose, and it's sweet. And this is, it's called Bear, Simple Sock, 75% Superwash Merino, 25% Nylon, Naturally Dyed, Log Wood and Iron, 415 yards, 100 grams in this gorgeous um, bluish grayish gray blue color really beautiful and she also I mean here's her card which is also hand drawn and then she sent along oh, I love this so much this card that she drew watercolor that I can't wait to hang up now that I've shown you guys. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh, it says every leaf speaks bliss to one fluttering from the autumn tree. I mean, if that's not meant for me, I don't know what was. Love this. And 
this note she, she wrote has the squirrel that she drew. Look at that. There's one thing I wish I could do. It's draw better. Um, going to Squam again in June. I signed up. I can't wait. And I, this time I registered for a, a watercolor class. Botanical watercolors. So I'm excited to learn some technique because all the watercolor painting I've done is just playing around with it, trial and error. I'm also going to take a course, a watercolor course. So I really want to get into it more so that I too could make little cards like this and other things. Um, I also signed up for a dyeing class at Squam. It's an interesting one using indigo. Uh, and a rice resist and a rice paste. So it makes some really beautiful designs. That is something that I'm really interested in learning. So that should be fun. Send some tea as well. I do want to show you the little acorns real quick because they're so beautiful. There they are. They're a different acorn than what we have here. Really, really natural looking. sent quite a few. And so a little tan. And there's this gray one. So adorable. And this little s'mores progress keeper. That will also be part of your gift. So you could win these two wonderful items. So in order to enter the giveaway, uh, if you could please comment down below here on YouTube. Um, and I may also have it up on Instagram, but I'm not sure. And please just let me know what was your, ooh, um, what was your favorite treat as a child? So was it s'mores? Or maybe it was fudge. Maybe your favorite treat was... Um, what's another good one? Licorice? Tootsie Rolls? Ice cream? Maybe it was cake? Just let me know your favorite treat below and you'll be entered into the giveaway. Um, the next time I podcast, I will pick a winner and I'll let you know if you've won this adorable set from the Angora Moose. Thank you, Kayla. I really appreciate it. Um, I think that might wind it up just to update you a little bit. Um, still working on the beta course with Craft a Living. So we are on lesson, almost on lesson six. I was hoping to have that finished and ready uh, to put out there for sale in January, but I don't know if that's going to happen. But um, I do wish everyone a happy New Year's Eve and a safe one. I hope that um, your new year starts off beautifully. I hope you set some goals for yourself. I still need to set my word of the year. Um, I always take quite a bit of thought, put, put quite a bit of thought into that, and I really take it seriously. So I think this is the third or fourth year I'm doing it, um, and it's been really effective for me. So. I'll let you know my word of the year the next time I podcast. So yeah, take care, everyone. It's nice talking to you. Bye.